Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Today we're going to be starting out in my bathroom. I am going to uh, clean the sink and the toilet and then we're going to come back and finish up the bathtub because I want to do that laundry stripping on my towels just to see how dirty they are. Also, they're getting that little soury smell to them. So, that's what we're going to be starting off and then we're going to be going to the kids bathroom and cleaning that bathroom as well. I'm going to go ahead and put the towels in the bathtub. I put on the hot water. I also put two pots of water on the stove and just right before it comes to a boil I took it off and then poured it in here on the towels. This powder stuff that I'm using is a mix of a bunch of stuff. I will have that recipe linked down below. You can use it as a washing powder in your laundry if you want to. I use that once I run out of liquid uh, laundry detergent. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Again, I'm going to put two pots of almost boiling hot water and then I'm going to put the towels in and I'm going to let them sit for about two to three hours before I wring them out and put them in the washing machine. To clean my mirrors and all of my windows in the house, I usually use that, the world's best glass cleaner stuff. I didn't have any more, so what I did have was rubbing alcohol on hand, and I just put a little bit on a wash rag and then wiped the mirrors off. It does just as good. It doesn't leave any streaks or anything, so if you don't have anything other than rubbing alcohol, that's okay. Rubbing alcohol works just fine. So now I'm going to wrap up the cords on the straightener and the hair dryer and then I'm going to put it where it's supposed to be under the sink and try to straighten up a little bit under the sink as well. The little tray that I have the toothbrushes setting on is a tray that I got from Grove Collaborative. I accidentally left a penny on there too long and it made a circle on the tray and I just washed it up underneath the water with a Clorox wipe and it came off pretty easily.
A couple of years ago when I redid our bathroom and bought new towels and stuff, I also bought new toothbrush holders and a soap dispenser at Target. They matched. I loved them. But we had a birthday party for one of the kids one year and a couple brought their kids and they destroyed a bunch of stuff and one of those things that they destroyed was my soap dispenser in this bathroom. So I went back to Target. I bought the same one to replace it and over time it just turned and so I just threw it away. <laughs> and then I went to Dollar Tree, bought a mason jar and a lid and made my own soap dispenser. But this one, which is this one, this one is not working out either. It's starting to turn. It gets brown stuff all over it. It's rust is what it is. So if y'all have any ideas of where I can get a really good soap dispenser, Please let me know. I have went on to Grove Collaborative's website and tried to purchase another one, uh, a glass soap, soap dispenser like I have in the kitchen, and they no longer sell those. Um, maybe I need to go back on there. I haven't been on there in a quite a while, so they may have them in stock again. I'll go back and look. Um, I am going to fill this up again. I did not fill it all the way up because I wanted to make sure I had enough soap to fill the kids' bathroom soap dispenser up. So. I'm gonna wipe this off real good and then we'll move on to the toilet. I've been hanging on, counting days, thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong. And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore. All I got is this Polaroid picture of us from June 24th It's where I kissed you for the first time, laid on your sheets You gave me your heart and said you trusted with me But all I did was let you down time and time again It wasn't my intention, maybe we should have been friends So, you're someone I used to know but nobody said it'd be easy But maybe I should have known One more drink to swallow it down I gotta get you out of my mind But nobody said it was easy Maybe I should have known I've been out to for the toilet, I'm just going to wipe everything down from top to bottom with some disinfecting wipes. And while I was cleaning the back of the toilet right here, I could smell that it wasn't smelling good. So I came back in and sprayed everything down with Clorox foaming spray and let it sit and do its thing. And then I came back in with some clean wet rags and just wiped everything down again from top to bottom. And then I cleaned the floor up as well. Of you. Got a million stupid reasons not to call. It's just that I want to. Do you remember how we pulled the drapes in the basement to get away from the world that we couldn't fit in? And how we used to walk those empty streets at night in the city lights is where I saw you for the last time. Said our goodbyes. Sat in the car, you saw the pain in my eyes But I just couldn't let you down time and time again It wasn't my intention Maybe we should have been friends So You're someone I used to know But nobody said it I 
I know I have mentioned in past videos about me and my husband setting goals for ourselves as a couple and setting goals for ourselves as individuals. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things that we have achieved as a couple. Um, there were two things that we were really wanting to do this year. One of those was pay off his building. So we have done that. He, he owns his building now. I own my building now. And then another thing that we were wanting to do was get rid of a storage unit that we had been paying on for quite some time now. Um, it held everything that we used to put in um, yard sales. We used to do a bunch of yard sales with a friend of ours and they are still doing yard sales. That's what they like to do. But for us, it was more an inconvenience. It was more money out than what was coming in. We had to reevaluate everything and we we just decided that it wasn't worth it wasn't worth it for us the money wasn't worth it so we will no longer be doing yard sales um but my friend will so yeah but i'm happy that those two things are off of our bill plate now we are moving on into the kids bathroom as you can see it is disgusting so i was very happy to get in here and clean this up the way i like to clean it <laughs> the only thing that i did different in the kids bathroom compared to my bathroom was i cleaned their bathtub with a magic eraser instead of my scrub brush if you're curious as to what products I like to use while cleaning or what products I like to use in my laundry, I will always have those listed down below in the description. Back to the topic of reevaluating uh, finances and stuff. I think that's really important in any kind of relationship, even a relationship with yourself. I mean, you, you've got to have a relationship with yourself too, a healthy one. Um, for us, we wrote down everything that was going out of the house and kind of check off stuff that we could get rid of, like subscriptions to things that we really didn't use. And then we started checking off things that we could pay off. And that really helped us. I think finances need a good deep clean as well as your house. So I told you a couple of goals that we have already achieved as a couple. Um, as far as individual goals for myself, I can't speak for my husband, but for myself, number one is my health. Um, I've been working over a year and a half on my mental health, and now I'm able to start working on my physical health. I have neglected myself for a very long time. I was in a very dark hole for a very long time and now I'm trying to get out of that hole. <laughs> Again, my physical health is my number one priority and then I would like to grow my channel. Um, I don't quite know what I'm, I'm looking out of the YouTube channel. I do know I want it to grow and I would like to have this channel to be a very good source of income. Right now, I'm it's not <laughs> like I couldn't go my husband couldn't work or stop working right now based off of my income from YouTube but um, I would like to get to that point not so much so my husband could stop working because my husband would never stop working he's just that type of person just so we could live comfortably because I feel like my husband and I we have worked so hard 
that we deserve nice things. Earlier, I said the only thing that I did different in here was clean their bathtub a different way, but I did not bleach their toilet like I did mine. I didn't think it needed it. A good wipe down and clean the toilet bowl was good enough. So, um, if you suffer from anxiety, I have been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, and I really didn't realize how much that really controlled my life. Until the other day I was sitting at the red light and sitting at the red light and my mind just went haywire and my heart rate got up to like 113 beats per minute. I was hyperventilating. I thought I was going to die and I had to ground myself. I had to like kind of slap myself in the face. Not, not really, but basically slap myself in the face and be like okay come on girl you you got to get yourself together so grounding yourself if you ever get into that situation where are you at what are you doing you are you safe um just things like that what can i see what can i hear what can i feel what can i smell what can i taste um those are the things that I have to go through to kind of get a grip on myself because if not you can it's scary it can get out of control so it wasn't until then that I realized how much my anxiety controlled my life and I am currently working on trying to get a control on anxiety um, so I can stop surviving and start thriving Do you have a... 
So we are halfway through this video. If you're still here watching along with us or cleaning along with us, drop a purple heart down in the comments. Also, while you're down there, tell me one thing that you are grateful for today. For me, I'm grateful for my husband. We have been through hell and back, and I would not want to do this life with anyone else. He is my partner. He's my best friend, and I know he always has my back. I decided to mop their floor with hot water and dish soap and then after that I sprayed some of that all-purpose cleaner on there that's mixed with the pine saw rubbing alcohol dish detergent and water it smells so good and I love how it makes everything feel like it doesn't leave a sticky residue behind I mopped that up and then we move on back into my bathroom so we can get the towels out of the bathtub and into the washing machine to wash that way we can clean the bathtub After pulling the towels back, I was kind of disappointed at what I saw. 
I thought it was going to be really dirty like I did with the sheets and stuff, but no. Um, it was, the water was pretty clean, so it was pretty disappointing. But I'm glad I did it because the towels do smell really good after I wash them. It's what I need Now if you wanna get the best of me Caught you smiling That's for sure Funny how you had the best of done I don't know if I'll make it home I don't know what like I get All I know Sound up the score Only know I want the best of five So I After getting the towel started in the washing machine, I'm going to come back in here and start working on my bathtub. I'm just going to take everything out, spray the bathtub down with the Clorox foaming spray, and then I'm going to let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. After that, I'm going to come back in here and scrub it down with my scrub brush and some cold water. If you are interested in this scrub brush, I will have a link for it down in the description below.
After getting the bathtub clean and everything put back, I'm going to work on taking everything out of the bathroom so I can sweep and mop it. When I was starting to drag this towel holder out, I noticed how dirty it was, or it was dusty. I noticed how dusty it was on the back side, so I went ahead and took a disinfecting wipe and cleaned all the dust off. You're going to see how dusty it was. Um, I bought this uh, towel holder at Aldi's when we first moved in here so it was probably about seven eight years ago um it's held up really nice and i like it best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless we were just So just like in the kids bathroom, I'm going to use a clean mop head and some clean water, which is Dawn dish soap and hot water. I'm going to mop that up and then I'm going to come back in and spray that all purpose cleaner and mop that up.
The towels are done washing, so I'm going to put those in the dryer. And while those are drying, I'm going to work on cleaning up all of my cleaning supplies and put it back into the cabinet up above the dryer. And then I'm also going to put everything back into the bathroom. And then once I'm done with that, the, the towels should be dried enough that we could fold them up and put them up. Talk to me, it's what I want the most in my life. They say you're out of my league, but I don't give a damn. No, deep down, I know you want it. You wanna take a leap and jump in. Oh, oh, oh. You wanna fall in love. You
My husband's gonna complain that it's hot in here when he comes in. He's about to come in. I had turned the heat on that morning and once it got warm enough in the house, I turned it off and I didn't turn the heat back on or the air back on. So the inside of the house got up to like 73 or 75, which is hot for us. It was funny. It was very funny. He was like, I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm sorry. I can't do this. <laughs> He always has me laughing. He always keeps me on my toes. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth. It's always something funny. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. I hope this video gave you some kind of motivation to clean your bathroom today if you haven't. If you would like to and haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with your mama Nim. I will see y'all Wednesday. Bye. the weather and there's no wind no sun